What is going on? Yikes! I hope that never happens again. That was truly frightening seeing that infant slide down the stairs. They can definitely injure themselves. To prevent that from happening, let me introduce to you the White Temper 71 inch retractable baby gate. Straight out of the box, you have the mounting accessories, okay, along with the screws. All right, and the user's manual, which shows the dimensions and also the different colors that's available. And if you are to mount it, you will have to use a stud finder. You have to mount it to a stud for structural integrity, such as mounting on the wood or drywall or even brick. All right, I'm ready to install the baby gate. So the first thing you want to do is determine location where you want to install it. So I'm going to install it right here leading from the living room second floor down to the ground level. I don't want my baby or pet to accidentally fall or go down there. As you can see, I have dry walls right here. So you have to determine what type of mounting uh, surface you have because with different type of mounting, you will probably have to use additional um, accessories such as these uh, wood anchors. You mount to wood, I'm going to do drywall mounting into the studs. Yes, into studs. You can do brick, concrete. It's not recommended for uh, dry wood uh, and, gla oh, and glass walls. I took a quick measurement. This is about 45 inches, so it's definitely going to fit the baby gate, no problem. First step is to install the brackets onto the gate. There are two. And you have these pillow tape. This one down here too. Basically what we're going to do is mark the place where we're going to drill so we can locate where we're going to install this. Next I'm going to use this stud finder to f ensure where the stud is located so I'm not drilling into um, empty walls which isn't recommended. Perfect. Which is in line with this right here. So I just want to give you a preview of how it will look. It's going to be facing in the direction and I'm going to extend it out like that, okay? And that's going to be mounted to the other side of the wall. Because the brackets are oriented like this, I found a stud right there. It's going to latch onto it like that. Alright, my next step is to peel the tape so I can mount the bracket on there so we know where to drill. And in the event you have a baseboard like mine, simply pull this up and locate it in location away from the baseboard. Okay, I'm going to press with adhesive tape, find my location, which is in line with the stud. Now I'm going to mark the whole locations. Okay, then I'm going to remove the bracket and drill the holes and since I'm drilling into a stud area I don't need to use these expansion uh, screws. <laughs> Insert the screws and make sure it's the right orientation because I had to redo it because I had it upside down. <sighs> and now I can reinsert the baby gates. Yep, that's good, sturdy. And I forgot to mention that you have to make sure the bottom of the baby gate has to be resting on the floor, so you can't just suspend it. It's preferred not to be suspended in like midair. Okay, it's time to locate these brackets. Just simply put the screen and then lock it, pressing forward and locked. So I have a good location of where to uh, mount these brackets. See, this is where the stud is. It's fully installed. Can't wait to test it out. Here we go, guys. I hope this is all aligned. So let me show you how it fully extends. See how wide this goes? 
Ooh, we 34 by 71 inches, but we don't need to go that far because it just latches on right here. See how easily that goes on? And don't forget, I have a floorboard on the bottom too, and I was able to uh, install the bracket without any problems. Now, when you look at the material, it's made of polyester mesh with PVC coating. Just the right amount of uh, translucentness, so you can see through it, transparency, I guess. All right, and here's what makes this awesome, all right? It's unlocked right now, so if I have it locked, okay? So infants and baby wouldn't know that. So even if I unlatch it, let's say, you, see, it won't, it, it, won't, it won't go forward. It won't go forward, I need to, un, to unleash it or unlock it. You have to press this button. So it's like combination, that way. See, I can unleash it. And it's easy with one-handed operation. Even for adults, I can do the same thing on the other side. So let's say you go into work, you wanna lock it, you know, just like that. There you go, see, and here's how it looks like from the other side, okay? So if you have babies, infants, or pets, now they don't run down or fall down the stairs or go up to a place that you don't want them to go. Making this perfect for uh, new parents and also for babysitters. So protect your family and beloved pets with the White Tempter Retractable Baby Gate.